Hello, this is Victor. Welcome to my channel, Vic5 and Season 3. Um, today's episode is about uh, paying installment uh, payments to the Canada Revenue Agency and why you'd want to. I'm in my brother's room and um, there is Gracie by the way. Cute. Yeah, there you are. Okay. Anyway, sorry, couldn't help but show Gracie. Anyway. So first of all, why would you want to pay installment payments to the CRA? Well, there's two reasons for that. One, um, if you notice that on your income tax or on your pay statement, maybe your employer is not removing enough um, income tax, that would be one reason. The very minimum that an employer should at least remove, I would think, would be at least 10%. But that doesn't always happen. Okay, so the other reason would be if you are currently receiving, say, CPP, Canada Pension Plan. Um, because you have the option of how much can pension plan removes for income tax, because you do have to pay income tax, um, you may want to control how much uh, you you uh, put aside. For example, if you're going, if you're collecting CPP, you may want to do 10% and do the rest by installments. That gives you the flexibility of controlling how much you pay upfront in terms of uh, income tax. Um, so. The, with that in mind, I'm going to um, show you first how to create the payee on your online banking. With the CRA, you've got to do a search by CRA and you have to look for the installment um, payee. So let me show you. Okay, so over here, as you can see, it says CR revenue in tax installment. And this is where they say pay in advance years income tax. Uh, this In this case, it's for 2019 to be paid in 2020. Okay, so I'm just going to get uh, some statements. Hang on. Okay, got to go to the library, and there it is. That's what I wanted. Okay, so, um, so yes. Okay, so then let me explain how the installment payment works. So what happens is when you make a uh, payment to this um, online payment payee, right? And of course, you would use your social insurance number as the uh, account number. So what you would do is make a payment and every month or whenever you want, you can make extra payments and it adds up. Suppose you do $10 a month. So by the end of the year, it's 120. Now you can still, you can still add to it up until the point where you filed your income tax. So as an example, what I did is this year in January, I did a test payment of $10 and 19 cents. Let me show you. Okay. So in the, in the tax installment right over here, as you can see, installment account. You can see that over here, January 13th payment date, I did $10.19. Okay. So then uh, I filed my uh, tax return. And at the point when you file it, that's when they'll take whatever balance is on the installment uh, account and apply it against any income tax you owe. So let me show you. So over here, um, as you can see in the 2018 assessment, you have the uh, right here the tax deductions applied, but here it is installment applied. So there it is, the $10.19. Now, since I paid my full income tax uh, this year, because I also forgot that I did the installment thing, I have a credit balance of $10.19. See right over here, the, the balance is $10.19. Okay. So, um, so, so when I, so what I'm going to do is when I apply for C CPP, I'm going to take off 10%, have them take off 10%. So I know I already got 10% deducted, but I know usually with, with, uh, extra payments, when you get extra income, usually it's one third that you have to put aside for income tax, which means I'm going to have to put in at least another 10%. So what I'm going to do is when I start receiving CPP, then I'm going to use the installment account, the payee, and make extra payments whenever I want. That way, when I have to pay income tax next year, it'll be less than if I didn't do it. So those are the two main reasons you would want to do installments to the Canada Revenue Agency for income tax. If you notice that your um, uh, income tax deducted by your employer is too low, because it should always be a minimum at least 10%, or if you are applying for CPP and you want to control how tax is deducted, but you don't want the CPP to do it automatically or take too much. So at least this way you can control it. Okay, so thank you very much. Have a great day and see you in my next uh, episode. Okay, bye-bye.